And this is CY Drums. I'm going to show you how to take your Alesis Studio and take the MIDI from the brain and put it into your laptop and or computer to fire Easy Drummer samples. Alright, there's a couple things you're going to need. You're going to need a DAW on your computer, uh, whether it be Reaper, Pro Tools, and or uh, Sonar, Studio One. You're going to need that, and then you're going to need Easy Drummer or an equivalent downloaded into your uh, DAW also. And then you're going to need this cord here. It's basically the same thing you would find in a printer cable. Has that end on it. And then on the other end, it has your USB. And that's what's going to go into your computer. And then this end is going to go into your uh, Alesis drum module. All right, this is the back of the drum module. What we're going to do is take this cord here that I showed you. That end, the opposite of the USB end, is going to go into the USB MIDI on your drum module, at least this drum module. And then you just push it in. And then this other end, which is the USB end, is going to go into your computer. Like so. What you're going to want to do is turn on your electronic drum module. I just hooked up the way I showed you. Then you can go to your DAW which mine is Reaper. Fire it up, load it up. There, it's loading up now. <laughs> All right, and then the first thing you want to do is go to Options, go to Preference, and then you see your MIDI inputs. It's the Lisa's DM. You want to make sure it's enabled. And then here you want to make sure on your outputs, your Lisa's DM or whatever electronic drum set for that matter is there and, and also enabled. And this is all checked too, except for the last one. Make sure that's there. And then you want to go back to options after you hit OK and go to preferences. And now you're going to want to go to... Now you're going to want to go to audio device and then make sure you have ASIO for all hooked up and then hit OK and then you want to go to insert item and then I'm going to hit virtual instrument on new track and it's scanning for my effects or VCTs if you will and then I hit easy drummer Hit OK. Now this here. Do you want to add the following tracks for this effect? If not, only stereo half outputs or stereo one and two outputs will be audible without further routing. I hit no. I'm going to make another video on how to do this. That's for people that want to record and, and have basically have a mixer to adjust stuff. I do that beforehand. So I'm going to hit no. Make it simple for this video just to get you going. See? And there's the MIDI drums. And let's see. And then, one more thing you're going to need. Let me grab it. Is this cord right here. Again, it has the, the TRRS cable. That way we can get what we're finding here into our iPhone for drum covers. This is actually what I use it for. Alright, now I'm going to fire them off live so you can hear them. And they'll be recorded into my iPhone in this video.
there you go. That was uh, live fired samples that you use in many ways. Like I said, I put it right into my cell phone. It gives you better quality. You can definitely change stuff up an easy drummer if you know about that or superior drummer or any of the other ones that have a lot to offer as far as sound samples and sound replacement electronic drums. Well, I hope this helped you out. Thanks again, CY Drums. If you have any questions, feel free to send them my way and I'll try to answer them. Take care. Have a good one.